He's closed the shop. I mean, he hasn't left in days. I know he's up to something in there. He's the dark one. He's always up to something. Yeah, well, this time he's after my baby. You told me about his plan. You have to get me out of it. Yeah, I don't quite see the logic in that. It's just the one favor. Right. <clears throat> I'm not going to leave until you help. <laughs> Why would I help you? Because as much as it pains me to admit, you and I are somewhat alike. <laughs> Why? Because we're both mums. Because we both know what it's like to care about someone who always lets us down. Your sister, Gold, right? I will not let my son go through all this, okay? You can get us out of Storybrooke. I have seen you make portals before. Even if I said yes, I can't help you without the sorcerer's wand. And your scaly husband has it under lock and key. Well, then it's a good thing I know just the person to get it from him. Are you serious? You want us to steal a wand from the Dark One? No, I want him to steal a wand. He is supposed to be the best thief in town. Best thief in any town, just to be clear. You can't do this. You need to help me find Agrabah, our home. This is a suicide mission, which has nothing to do with you. Actually, it's got everything to do with them. Sorry, who are you? See those golden shear thingies? The only reason they're even in Storybrooke is because of your boyfriend. Uh, Actually, we're not mean. exactly. Yeah, I don't care. See, when you tried to play hero, giving them to Emma, like most acts of idiotic heroism, it failed. And now Rumpel's got them. OK, I don't like this one. You really think that this is my fault? I think that you used to be the saviour. And if there's any part of you that's still a hero, then you are going to help me escape from this beast. Thanks, Margie. 